Hey there, welcome to our video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to be answering the set question that came in the year 2018. We'll be answering both the internal question paper one and the GCE question paper one. So that way, let's begin to solve. to describe the shaded region in the diagram below. Use set notation to describe the shaded region in the diagram below. So over here we have been given a diagram. This is our Venn diagram. And in this Venn diagram, we are able to see set A over here. And we are able to see set B and set C as subsets of A. This area between set A to B intersection C there has been shaded as we can see. And the question is asking us to be able to shed. And the question is asking us to be able to describe using set notation or rather interpret the shaded region using set notations. The first thing that we are able to see there, we are able to see that the unshaded part is B union C. And then we have A where both B and C are. The B and C are subsets of A. So we have B union C, which we are able to see inside there. That's B union C. And then we have our A, which is the overall there. So these are the elements that we are going to use. So to start with, we are going to give two answers. The answer will be the same, but we'll be able to write the answer in two different ways. The first way we can write our answer is B union C complement intersection A. B union C complement. The fact that the inside was not shaded, it suggests to us that B union C was a complement. For us to, to, to bring it just within this line, just within set A, for us to do that, we intersect it with A. And that's how come we have that as our answer. This will be our answer one. Our answer number two, you can write this same one starting with A intersection, open bracket, B union C complement. This way or that way, it is correct. Quickly, let's go to our question B. Question B says, the Venn diagram below shows set A and B. List A complement intersection B. So we have been given a Venn diagram over here. And our Venn diagram has set A and has set B. It also has uh, 2, 7, and 8 just outside A and B within the universal set. So they want us to list A complement in the section B. However, for us to be able to do that, let's first of all find out what is A complement alone and what is B on its own. So A complement uh, tells us if this is our A, complement means everything that is outside A. So A complement will mean everything that is outside. So outside there we have 2, 4, 7, and 8. That is A complement, 2, 4, 7, and 8. That's literally everything that is outside, 2, 4, 7, and 8. And then we have our B. Our B is over here. 
So we are going to write everything that is inside B. 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have A complement over here and we have B. The question is asking us to find or rather to write A complement intersection B. From the way this set here has been combined, we are asking for the intersection of A complement, which is this, and B complement, and B, which is here. So we are looking for elements which are found both in A complement and in B. And if we analyze the two sets, we discover that the only common element is 4. So 4 is what we get and we put in there. Nothing, no any other element is common, so 4 alone is there and that 4 becomes our answer. That's it for this question. Let's now move on to answering the second part of uh, our questions in this video tutorial, which will be uh, sets, paper one questions for 2018, GCE. Follow me closely as we solve those questions as well. Under GCE, the first question says, use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram below. Use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram below. So we have been given another Venn diagram here. And we have three sets. We have A, we have B and we have set C. We can tell that a part of A and part of B has been shaded, but the entire C has not been shaded in any way. So we have A union B, that is a shaded part, and then we have C alone, which has not been shaded. We have C alone, which has not been shaded. So, with this, we are able to come up with a set notation which they are requiring us to find. So, the shaded area is A intersection B. This C, the fact that C has not been shaded in any way, suggests to us that this was a complement. C must have been a complement. So our answer here with these things that we've been able to, to find out with our findings, we are able to, 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 to describe this set as A union B intersection C complement. This is the answer, or you can write it as C complement intersection, open bracket, A union B. Or in that way. With that, we would have answered this question successfully. Let's move on to the second part of the question. The second part of the question says, given that E which represents the universal set, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Set A, which is a member of the universal set, is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. And set B, which is also a member of the universal set, is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and six. The question says list A union B complement. List A union B complement. So before we can bring on board the complement, let's find out what is A. Let's first find out what is A union B on its own. What are the elements which will be found in set A union B? Set A and B means all the members 
members of set A combined with all the members of set B to form one set. So our A and B will be one, we have two, and we have two there. The fact that we have two twos, you just write one. We have three, just write one three, even though there is three, there is three. We have four, you just write four ones, even though it's appearing in both sets. And we have five there and six. So this set right here represents all the elements found in B and all the elements found in A. Now, the question wants us now to find A union B complement. A union B complement. A union B complement will be the universal set minus A union B. The formula we we'll use to find A union B complement is universal set take away A union B. So we have A union B, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we have a universal set here. So let's cancel out everything that we have in A union B from the universal set. So we have 1 there, so let's remove the 1. We cancel it out. Let's cancel out the 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What we remain with in the universal set, that will be our answer. And what we remain with is 7, 8. So our A union B complement is equal to 7, 8. That's our final answer, and that marks the end of the questions under sets for 2018 both internal and GCE paper one. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.